actress Dame Barbara Windsor dies aged 83. Kim Kardashian reportedly exhausted from trying to make her marriage to Kanye West work. And Tiffany Addis says Grammys won't pay her for hosting the pre-show and expected her to pay for glam. Hey guys, my name is Eva and you're welcome to see Bridges. So guys, so let's get right to Bridges. Actress Dame Barbara Wizzo has died peacefully from Alzheimer's at a London care home on Thursday evening at the age of 83. This was disclosed by her husband Scott Mitchell. Remember that she had been diagnosed with the disease back in 2014 and had done so much to create awareness for it. Dame Barbara was uh, in many movies like the comedy series Carry On, Spyros, Can't Sing, EastEnders, Alice in the Wonderland, etc, etc. Yes, our movies. We yeah, so many. Her husband, Mr. Mitchell, said that she will be remembered for the love, fun, friendship and brightness she brought to all our lives. Tributes have been paid to her from across the entertainment world and even the Azamas community said that it was incredibly grateful to Dame Barbara and her husband for the awareness they brought to the disease and that Dame Barbara was an amazingly true and much loved national treasure. May her gentle soul rest in perfect peace. All right, moving on to the next gist. So almost all of us know that Kanye West has bipolar disorder and that has caused a lot of troubles, you know, in his marriage to Kim Kardashian. And back in August, they took a make it or break it vacation for their marriage. Well, it's just said that things are still hard for Kim as she's tired of it and hasn't decided if they'll stay together long term. The source revealed that Kim is exhausted from continually trying to keep their vows in mind when making decisions and that Kanye is working on his mental health. The source said that Kim is still trying to figure out whether they should remain a couple but still feels the most important thing to recognize before making any choice is what's best for her children, herself, Kanye and the rest of her family essentially in that order. The source said that Kim believes that Kanye needs to work on himself before he can work on the well-being of anyone else. Well, it's a little bit surprising that Kim is still in this marriage given her history of divorce. But I guess this is what happens when kids are involved. It's harder to just up and leave when you have children involved. Alright, on to the last one. Actually, Stephanie Addish revealed to Variety that she was asked to host the 2021's Grammy pre-show. Which would have been amazing, but unfortunately, Grammys didn't offer to pay her for the work. And still expected her to pay for her glam and her wardrobe. She says she doesn't know if this might mean that she might not get nominated, but she thinks that this is disrespectful. She also said that she doesn't know how many people they have done this to, but that it's just like a guy asking you out on a date but telling you that you have to pay for it. As in, isn't it just mad? Well, the Interior Recording Academy president and CEO Avi Mason Jr. He posted a video on Instagram saying that it was a lapse in judgment on the part of the Grammy's talent booker and that it was wrong and disrespectful to the creative community and it is not right. He said that he has apologized to her personally and on behalf of the Academy and also expressed his displeasure on how this went down and how it was handled. But my question is, why is it that Grammys get called out a lot? Remember that Drake called out the Grammys for snubbing black artists a while back and now this only god knows what's going to come next well guys that's all i have for you guys on the show but do not forget you can keep this conversation alive tell us what you think about everything i've just said you know from top to bottom you can do this by phone us on our social media platforms camera boy tv on instagram camera boy official on facebook camera boy tv ng on twitter and on the big boy youtube guys camera boy tv do not forget to like comment and subscribe and if you want to see what i've been up to lately you can follow me on instagram at acin underscore eva until next time ciao y'all